Good morning everyone. I'm going to do a uh, quick uh, video just to make sure you got something to watch while you're drinking your morning coffee. Um, uh, a lot of comments and um, there is something that I really have to talk to everyone about because um, it's it's sort of becoming this big that it's not, I can't do it anymore, people, really I can't, because um, every morning I go and do the comments on YouTube, and um, if you're okay with it, and I just put in there, you, you know, the thank you with the little hearts, that's fine, but I know that a lot of people leave comments where they're asking me questions, and I do read every single comment, but to go in depth, like if someone asks me on YouTube, uh, what is the silicone for? You know, I, d I just can't do that. I can't answer your question. There are um, over 150 videos. Uh, please just mail me and put in the subject uh, Word document and I will send that to you. And I, that has a link to the basic videos. Is that It has a link to um, the, all the playlists. It has a little uh, recipe on um, how I mix the paint. It has an explanation of the silicone, it has an explanation on the torch. So instead of asking me on YouTube, please just send me a mail. My mail address is under all the videos. And if you put in the subject Word document, all I have to do is answer and, con and uh, connect the Word document and send it back. And that is like, for me, if I'm in my mail, that would be like five seconds. And that would help me a lot because I am beginning to um, think, you know, I can't answer everything you guys are asking from me. And um, on the other hand, I'd, I'd love to do nothing else but just do this, you know, answer all the questions and read all your comments because those comments really, they brighten my day and I love them to pieces and I really like reading them. But the, the questions about what the paint does and what the silicone does and why the torch, you know, I much rather you have me mail, mail me and I'll send you the word doc. So then that would, you know, sort of uh, make it a little easier in the morning. Then I get a lot of emails and I'm talking, people, I'm not talking about one or two, but I'm talking about 20, 30 a day with people sending me their um, their images of their pores and then asking me to uh, tell them what they're doing wrong and I'm sorry but I can't it's I, I there's not enough hours in a day I'd love to but I can't and the reason I made the Facebook group is for people to go to that group show their images and then you have the expertise of thousands of people who will help you, will who probably used exactly the same paint you did, did the same pour, live in the same humidity you live in, and they can help you to explain what they did to get better res results. Um, usually I get sent uh, an email, there are six pictures on it, and then the question, what did I do wrong? And there's nothing else in there, so I don't know what paint you're using, what silicone, if you torched, <laughs> how you poured. So it's sort of like asking someone in Holland, what's the weather going to be like next week? Because uh, over here you can never tell. So um, that's something that I really, I can't do that anymore. It's, it's way too much. Then the other thing is the messenger, the Facebook messenger. I put a, a little um, um, uh, message on my personal Facebook, like I can't accept all the friendship uh, things because it's it's way too much. But that doesn't uh, hold people back from uh, sending me a message through Messenger. So um, I'll, I'll explain. You know, I know you don't under understand why I can't do that and. The thing is that I, I get about, let's see, last week I had 117 people messaging me through that messenger. Can you imagine if I accepted all of those people? It's more than 100 a week. 
I would never ever be able to sleep. I wouldn't be able to do my art. I wouldn't be able to go to work. It would be the whole day. It would be constantly people trying to talk to me on on messenger. And I sorry, but I can't. It's it's too much. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut down uh, messenger because you know it kills me to see people that want to talk to me and I ha do not have the time to talk back to you guys. I really want to. It's killing me. I want to, really. I want to answer every single mail and every single comment because that brings joy to me. I love it. I, I, it makes me happy. Um, when, when I have something that brings me down, I just read a few comments on YouTube and wham, I am back in business because you guys, the power, you, you, sometimes you say, oh, and Marie, I love the way you talk and all Zen. And I, you know, you help me through a difficult time and all that stuff. But guys, you do the same for me. That's the funny thing. It works both ways. Both ways. <laughs> so I love that that you do that. And um, But I, I'm really asking, you know, of all of you to understand that I can't do the messenger thing with a hundred people a week really trying to uh, chat with me. I can't do it. It's too much. So, on to our pour. Okay, I did some um, varnishing. And to tell you the truth, I love it. I can't help it. Triple thick. Here you go. Look at that. I, I am having so much fun with triple thick. It is so shiny. So, this one's ready. I know someone bought this one. And I'll have to go in my mail. And I'm doing such a bad job at this selling stuff. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Someone bought this one too. I am so, so, so um, messed up with, um, with where this is going to go. Because I just don't know anymore. I know that one person already paid. So please send me a mail. And tell me which one because I'm 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 I think it was this one, but I'm not sure. So these are all ready to be shipped and ready to go. This one's kind of pretty up there, isn't it? I like this bit. So this one I know someone said they wanted to buy it, the uh, the orange one. So um, please slip me a uh, slip me a note, and what I'm gonna do is to make it a little easier let me get some paper oh no of course not I don't have paper I can do it with my business cards I should have a, a, a notepad or something around here let's see yes I can do that on here then you get to see my business cards again okay business cards Okay, these are my business cards. Aren't they cute? They are so cute. So I'm going to put these cards on here. Just like that. And then I'm going to write numbers on them. If I can find... my. So this is number one. This is number two number three, number four, number five, and number six. So, if this is the painting you want to buy, or you already said you wanted to buy, it's number one, send me a mail, say I'm the, uh, the person of number one, and I'll get straight back to you, and we'll figure that out. This is number two. If this is your painting, number two, mail me, say, that's me, number two. This is number three, tell me if this is your painting, mail me. Oh, for everyone that's wondering, this is how I sign my, uh, sign my work. So it's in metallic, so unless you're standing, you know, exactly opposite this, you, you won't, almost won't see it. So I don't like my name big black on some uh, art. I don't like it. So this is number four. If this is yours, tell me. See, my name is on there. 
I sign it exactly the same way. This is number five. This is number six. And I know that someone... This is uh, still the painting. Casey, if you're watching, this is still your painting. I haven't heard back from you. And oh, where did I sign it? There you go. You see, I always sign it the same. These are my initials, AR, and then I put Ritterhoff down, at, down there, and that's how I sign them. So, Casey, let me know, or I'm going to sell it. So I'll leave um I'll leave these on there so I know exactly who wants what and then that'll be good to go. Uh Heidi, the winner of the giveaway, I have done my last and final uh spray over your painting. Yours is gonna leave today. And now we can get back to pouring. Oh no, someone now said they wanted this one. Someone wanted to buy this one, the sacrificial one. Um, uh, then I, I still have to do the whole um, varnishing. So that would be good. Just mail me again if that's okay. I sent you uh, something about the price because this is um, these are the, the cheap canvases. They, they are cheap but good because you have these uh, things in the corner that you can tighten up the canvas and I'll send them along with the painting but I don't want um, see all these that I do I don't want any money for them because I stand behind you know my quality thing so um, if people want to buy these it's only the postage and the thing is that these are rectangle so the 20 by 20s they fit in the cheaper um, postage thing but these when I send this, it costs um, 27 euros. So I don't take anything for the painting, just the shipping. So that's it. So you know that I'm still someone that when I sell paintings, that I really want to sell the quality stuff. But I, I see it as giving it away. So when you give something away, you can give away uh, your test, uh, test pours. That's, I think that's totally acceptable. Oh, I got to show you the one yesterday. <coughs> uh oh. It was pretty much stuck, but it's not dry yet. You can see in the middle here, it's still shiny. But um, what I see is no pinholes at all. A little thick in the middle because um, I think uh, of the pour I did. And I did put it up on cups, so I, I might have dinked it around a little because I didn't let it dry uh, well in the middle. But other than that, when, when, this, is, um, when this is ready, it's kind of nice. I like this bit. I don't know why that is, but I really, really like this top bit. There's something about those rusty colors that I really like. And this here, down here, I really like this bit too. I think it's very pretty. Okay, I'll put it away. Okay, now we are going to pour. What I did, same same paint I used yesterday. Windsor and Newton. And I made it thicker. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty thick. So this is just an experiment again, because we want to get to that good consistency, the, the thickness that is going to give us those nice and round and juicy cells. That's what we want. So what I did is a mixture of um, paint, oh, 30 to 40% PVA. So this is a cheap, cheap pour. And I put silicone in, and of course a little water to get, uh, to get it moving. So, right now I'm going to get a cup. And I, I took some really, really bright colors because I thought, you know, I want to do some really, really, really uplifting colors to make us all feel good. And another thing is that I am going to, 
I showed you the uh, big bookshelf thing that, that my husband's making for the garden. Uh, that's going to go outside, and I'm going to paint it turquoise. Yes, I am. Then I have this really beautiful little um, garden set, and they're going to do uh, a turquoise finish on that too. And that's going to be uh, in front of it. I'm going to lay that in front. I'll set it in front, not lay it. That's going to be really pretty. Okay, I got a lot of uh, paint now and I'm going to do a flip cup on it. So there we go, turning it around and releasing it straight away. Making sure the drips don't go in the middle. Oh, there's someone at the door. My husband's in the uh, garage. I hope he gets it. Oh yeah, I hear him. Okay, I'm going to torch it straight away, by the way, before the, um, the silicone escapes. Oh yeah, people, look at that. We got cells, and the kind we really like. Yes, we do. Wow, look at that! Oh, and I have to, I have to push it over the side. I don't want to. I, I want to keep that. But look at this. This is beautiful. So we're almost back to where we were with the cells. Oh, I want to keep that. I don't want to push that over the side. And this is a good experiment too, because I want to see how elastic those cells are. Ooh, not very elastic. I see over here they're already broken. But that doesn't matter. This is all for the sake of experiment. Okay, that's going over the side there. That's good. Let it go down. I'm going to let this stretch down. Wow, I love that. This is going to be beautiful. Yep, going over the side. Very good. Now letting this come down. Come on, baby. You can do it. Let's see if I got some in the cup. I'm going to help it because I, oh, I really love this. I got to get my little palette knife. There we go. So I'm going to put some on here to help it move. And I do have more paint though, don't worry, I have enough. But I'm just hoping it moves down here. Yes, please do. That's good. That is fantastic. Let's do that here too. See, by putting the paint um, exactly in the uh, way of the movement, it just goes over a little faster. Okay. There we go. Covering up the whole canvas, just in case it's beautiful and someone wants it. Okay. What do you guys think? See, this is a different effect. I've never had that before. I kind of like it, but I absolutely love this. This whole long band of cells. I think it's beautiful. But I am thinking of doing something different. If I had something to put it on. Um, let me think about this. Neil can't do that. Okay, I'll just put it here. So, what I really like is this whole bit here. But I don't like that. So, I am going to do something to it. And I'll probably... You're probably all screaming, Don't do it! 
Anne Marie, it's beautiful as it is. Don't do it. Sorry. Gonna do it anyway. Because I want some color up here. So I'm gonna give it a little twirl, just like that. Just a little one. And then put in some green. Give it a little twirly early. There we go. And I'm going to pour it from here down to there. Because I just want a little bit, a little bit of color. Let it work down here. And I think personally I was a bit too fast in putting adding because look at this. Can you see this? This is still working. Look at those cells. Well, I did get rid of that round thing. So let's see how this works. Beautiful. That's all it needed, just a little bit, and all the cells came up. I'll show you. See that? But that little wisp of color, I think that really did add to the uh, to the painting. But I'll just let a little bit of it come back here. Just like that, on the bottom, because I like that. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing stuff. I'm sorry I'm getting a little quiet, but, you know, this is, um, because this is new for me, the new paint, I'm seeing it doing things that I haven't seen before with the, um, with the Amsterdam acrylics, so... Um, what it's doing is over here, the whole patch here, th the cells are still forming. So maybe I'm just a bit too fast. You have to give it a, bit, a little bit more time because I love what it's doing. Look at that. See all those cells? They are beautiful. And up here, they're beautiful. I just have to give it a little bit more time, that's it. They're still forming because I can see the white outline is still... There's Every time I look at it, it's different. And and now I when I look at it, over here, you can see cells too, but they're a little faint. Then this whole band of, of cells, it is beautiful. Oh, this, this video is going way too long. But I am really, really um, surprised by the um, by the results I'm getting now. A little bit on here. Don't want to have a bare corner. That's it. That's good. I like it. Look at the side. Ah, oh, the side is amazing. So is the top top is amazing too. I'm going to clean off the, uh, the, the canvas on the bottom. There we go. Okay, um, I'm going to put it up on, uh, on cups and um, I'll put it down here first because um, I want to stop the video. It gets way too long. Uh, for the people that were wishing me um, a good uh, vacation, I'm not gone yet, people, because I have to wait till the weather gets better. The weather is absolutely, um, you know, Holland is just Holland. You have to, when the weather gets better, you have to pack your stuff and leave, because um, you don't get much of a uh, heads up. Let me see if I can do that real close. See what I'm talking about? And there. How pretty is that? I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty satisfied. I'll show you the weather. You saw the weather yesterday, right? It was beautiful and the sun was shining. Look at this. Uh, this is the typical Dutch sky. <laughs> it's always gray. And it's raining. Yep. Doesn't look too, uh, it doesn't look like vacation weather, does it? 
Nope. So that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait for better weather. We're gonna wait for better weather. Okay. One last look at my pour. Why doesn't it focus? There you go. Okay, thank you all people. Uh, this weekend uh, we're going to be doing some wild experiments. I can tell you that. We're going to be using that beautiful, beautiful pigment from Color Art. This one. We're going to really go for it with this... Uh, this, what this company sent me so I'm gonna show you all the beautiful beautiful colors and we're gonna do a lot of experimenting with the new paint we're gonna have a lot of fun so see you in the next video which probably will be when I get back from work because my hands are itching to get this paint uh, under control so <clears throat> even though I'm planning that this is the the one and only video for today I'm already thinking, oh, when I get back from work, I can do another pour. So you'll see. Okay, bye, guys.